Ball is driven deep to right field. Way back. This one is gone. A grand slam home run for Didi Gregorius. And the Yankees now lead 8-3. to three. It's fourth career grand slam. Didi, on July 16th against the Rays, you hit a late-inning grand slam that completed a massive rally for the Yankees. And really, it was the start of something great for you individually at the plate. Want to go look at this video and sure. relive this moment? <laughs> sure. All right, so here we go. Eighth inning, two runs already in, two outs, bases are loaded, and Colin Poche, Rays left-hander on the mound, literally throws nothing but forcing fastballs. Yeah. What are you thinking as you approach the plate? Well, just try to get ready to hit, you know. So I took the first pitch. I just think to myself, well, he loves throwing fastball, so I choke up, as you can see. And just try to get ready, get on top, or try to hit a line drive somewhere to get the, get the rail to keep, keep it going. So with two strikes, he threw me. I asked for time, and I stepped out. Because then I was like, well, he threw Guardia fastball up in his own with two strikes. So he might just try to do that with me, too. And then he ended up throwing it. Yeah, I know you observed Brett, Brett's at bat, and then yourself walking to the plate. Is there an advantage that you already have before you get in the box in that situation? Advantage? I won't say advantage because you still got to hit the ball. You know, it's, that's one part of the game. But I was now you got to pay attention like who's in front of you, how they pitch the person, and if you guys have like almost similar at bats every time, or they pitch you guys the same, and then you you take that, and then you go into the bat knowing like in certain situation what he might do to you. Are you choking up specifically because of the situation at hand, or because it's lefty on lefty? No, I just, I, I normally choke up. It doesn't matter who I'm facing. Like, if I have, like, two strikes, that's when I choke up, like, almost all the time. All right, so you get to two strikes, down 0-2, throws another high fastball, so it's yeah. one and two. At this point, again, you're behind in the count. In this situation, RBI opportunity, what is the mindset? I know he's going to come with another fastball, so uh, just try to stay ready, you know. Like, I know he's going to try to go up, like, in that pitch, you know, he went up. So that one was way too high, so that's why I took it. Then he came up again with another one, so and then I put it, ended up putting a good swing on it. It's less of a guessing game with a guy like Poche. Is, does that actually make it a little easier for you in a situation? Uh, no, I mean, baseball is not easy. It doesn't matter like which situation you go in, because you can always make contact. You can hit, hit the ball hard or something, but you hit it straight at people, so it's still hard to get base hits. But in certain situations, you get to come through, and that's when everything like comes up even more. All right, so, if you, so if you go back, you see like how low I was and then how high I got in the next pitch. So like it's already setting up for the high pitch. So it's a one-two count. Another high fastball, this one you turn on. Yeah. You get all of it. And right away, you see you make a, a power fist. You obviously know it's like, man, yeah, man, I got all of this one. <laughs> what was the feeling like when the ball hit the bat? Oh, well, it's coming through, you know, it's a big situation for the, for us right there to expand the lead. So for me, it was the sign of let's get this going, let's keep it going. So, I mean, try to score as many runs as we can and give us a bigger lead. That fastball was 4.02 feet above the ground. It was the oh, highest, told, yeah. Yeah, it was <laughs> highest fastball hit for a home run, according to StatCast this yeah. season. Why did you swing at it? Like I said, you know, I saw how he pitched Guardy, and I was already thinking, like, after he threw that high fastball that I didn't, like, make any attempt on it, he's probably going to throw it again because how he was pitching all the lefties. And then again, the just raw emotion felt like just spilling out at you. That's kind of rare when, when you get a big hit going yeah. up to first base and then you gesture towards the dugout. What was that all about? Well, there's a lot more to the story to that. You know, I normally don't show emotions while I'm playing, but in that situation, I came up pretty big. So, you know, I had to jump and start yelling at the dugout, like, keep the energy going. So I think it was a really great time right there, great moment. How much of it was just the fact that you guys were in another tight, grinding game against the Rays? They were right behind us. I mean, every game we play against the Rays or Boston or whoever is close to us, it means a lot, you know, because like, we want to expand our lead against, like, all these guys. So it's, it's something great that we came up big, all of us came up big in that inning. And you have had a ton of curtain calls in your time as a Yankee. You even had one on the road, which is probably yeah. the coolest thing that uh, adds to your legend in pinstripes. But what, what will you remember about this one? What would I remember? I remember everything about it. I mean, because I was just doing handshake with everybody and judges like, hey, you got to get out there, get the fans what they want. Because I was, I was talking to him. And I say, ah, and then, you know, Hicksy's over there hitting. He's like, well, of course he's going to get another curtain call, so I got to take a pitch. And then I ended up coming out. As you can see that he's still standing there. It's a great time, great moment. Hey, that's good recognition by Hicks. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> Obviously the start of something big for you. Thanks for going in the moment with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.